All right, you may have seen some of this earlier in the day, but a left-wing New York judge doesn't even have the grace to let the 45th president of the United States speak in court, much less on what the 45th president of the United States achieved as a realtor who essentially changed the face of New York real estate. Anyway, joining us now is one of his key attorneys, Alina Haba. Welcome back to the show. We appreciate it very much. Um, I don't get this. He's got an agenda. Uh, everybody's got an agenda in this courtroom. And they will not let Donald Trump speak his piece. Now, I want to ask you, okay, let me ask. Is Donald Trump being rude? Is he yelling? Or is he just trying to get his, let's say, two cents in that this uh, judge won't let? Honestly, none of the above. What would happen was they would show him two paragraphs on the screen. They would say, okay, here's two paragraphs on the screen. Mr. President, did you certify to this? And he would say, well, the two paragraphs discuss insurance, they discuss value, and they discuss how I can rent certain property, 40 Wall Street, for instance. Uh, let me explain. First, let me hit the value. First, let me hit the insurance. Let me hit this. Let me hit that. And he would go into explaining to them mm -hmm. that maybe you have a loan document that says that I have to have a, a, a net worth of $50 million. Basic. Okay. But there's certain provisions there with step downs and things like that. It's not that simple. If I have to be absolutely honest with you, Larry, I think that they really should have thought about the legal team questioning. Somebody who is a real estate tycoon, a real estate mogul, is going to go down as one right. of the greats. Spend his whole life. They don't get it, and they're trying to attack and criticize somebody. You better be an expert he's to try and trying, come after him. See, look, as somebody who knows him rather well, he's trying to explain what I'm going to call the science of real estate. That's right. The accounting of real estate, the economics That's of real right. estate, okay? And he knows it very well. Yeah. You might disagree with some of it, but he knows it very well. That's right. And this judge, as I understand it, will not let him finish these paragraphs. No. And I don't know. And the other thing, can I just, I think this showed up. Uh, you were on, uh, your presser was during Sandra and uh, Smith and John Roberts. Um, has a president ever testified like this in court? No. Never. It's a disgrace. So they won't give him the grace to do that. It's it's really, they're cutting him off, and I objected, and there was a fiery exchange with the judge. Yeah. Um, frankly, I, I can't even say it was with the judge and I. I'm very polite. I'm very professional when I'm in the courtroom. But the judge s did not like him finishing or explaining because it wasn't good for their case, and he's interfering. He's made his decision. Let's not forget that, Larry. He made his decision on summary judgment. He found liability already. So now we're wasting taxpayer dollars for months and months and months, 450000 for an expert the AG paid. Yeah. Taxpayer dollars, those New York taxpayer dollars. We're wasting all this time, and he won't even let the president, who's the person they're trying to get to, explain why he's certified to certain values. Why? Because the minute he starts to explain it, it ruins their case. He was worth more than his statement of financial condition. And Miss James, her politics, mm -hmm. are not allowing her now to backtrack. She needs a PR team, I'm telling you. She's well, she have, looks she's... like a damn fool. Yeah. <laughs> but put, putting that aside, I mean, it's the same story with the Maralaga property in Palm Beach. Every realtor is laughing yeah. at the tax assessor's assessment, which you, you and I talked about a month ago. Every realtor knows what Trump is talking about in this courtroom. The guy that doesn't know what he's talking about is a politically biased left-wing judge who won't let the 45th president make his case. I think that is one of the worst parts of this whole story. You call a trial, you make these charges, the president, who doesn't have to, comes in? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. I mean, you could do it just as well, but he came in, and they won't let him finish his paragraph? Not only that, Larry, in the beginning, and this isn't going to be reported, but in the beginning, the judge kept trying to say, if you do it again, I'm just going to tell you to leave, and I'm going to have a negative inference. First of all, you can't really do that. But he was going, trying to find a reason because he was panicked. Uh, you, this is an elected official. The judge is an elected official. Yeah, yeah. Letitia James is an elected official. We can't have elected officials who need to be bipartisan, who need to be on the side of their democratic thinking, their, their left-wing, radical left thinking. We can't have people like that on the bench, and then we sit here and, and can't put our case up. It doesn't make sense. You know, I know there are a lot of left-wing judges in New York. I get that. But there are also some good judges. There are. There. There's a court of appeals in this state. There's yep. an appellate court. All that stuff. You have a, the New York Bar Association. I know it leans left, but they're not crazy people. No. There are a lot of wonderful law firms. Law firms, by the way, whose 
chief officers are <laughs> Republicans, believe it or not. So I'm waiting for people to start speaking out regarding the injustice of the way this judge is treating the 45th president. Do you see my point? I do. Somebody has to stop the circus and say, this guy, what's his name, the name of the judge? Judge Gorin. He is a bad apple, and we don't want to stand behind him because he's making all of us in New York look bad. That's the truth. I'm waiting for someone to do that. That's the truth, and I think that, you Just know... Just step up. Yeah. Step up and say that. Democrat, Republican, it doesn't matter. This is ruining the legal establishment of New York. This guy's a clown, and everybody knows it. And then there's this issue what he's got a a clerk uh, a law clerk who's uh, you've got a mile long uh, list of left wing causes she's donated to what's up with that well i've been gagged and i'm not permitted to talk <laughs> oh, about don't say a word i'm not permitted i want to talk keep you about out of jail it. but i think that says it all i'm not permitted to sit here and talk about it Where i am the legal the spokeswoman order? for the president he's, he's gagging the president he gagged he's gagging me you as well. yeah. he can't gag me because i'm in no, i'm in journalism you're free to say media. what you want <laughs> but really i mean it's crazy stuff so all right what happens next what happens next well this week we're going to finish they're going to rest their case we are obviously going to move uh, to completely dismiss this case. There should be a mistrial based on some of the things you mentioned today that I can't talk about. Mm -hmm. There should be a mistrial here. Uh, bias, in general, I'll say, there is judicial code of ethics. Those ethics extend to yes. the entire courtroom. And when you violate the rules of judicial ethics, there need to be certain things that hold you accountable. Your license, that's why there is the bar, that's why there are ethics. There needs to be rules uh, regarding people's ability to believe in an impartial system. Mm -hmm. And I do believe it as an American, it's my mission to bring to light when there isn't that. Because not everybody's Donald Trump, not everybody can pay for a team exactly. of 20 lawyers. Exactly. And, and if we don't stop it now, we're gonna be in real deep trouble. I think we already frankly are. Well, I think, as I said before, I think calmer heads have to prevail with respect to the New York legal system because it looks like a clown show to the rest of the world. Yeah. I also think people, whatever your opinions of my former boss, the fact remains he's a 45th president. He did not have to testify in court and he did to make a case about the economics and science of real estate. He could have given these guys a lesson if the judge had just listened. Yeah, well, he did give them a lesson. Judge might have, <laughs> hang on a second, he might have learned something. Can you imagine a judge learning something? You know, I would invite that judge to come see some of these properties. Go step on Mar-a-Lago. Go tell yeah. me that that's worth 18 million. Go, go, I mean, it's so absurd that the, the country is laughing. And if he has any, you know, self-respect, you have an opportunity the to West, turn this around. The whole west side of New York was changed by Donald Trump. The sky, the Skyline. The whole east side of New York was changed by Donald Trump. Anyway. Yeah, it's true. Alina Haba, you're terrific. Thank, Thank you, you for Larry. making time for us. I know it's Always. been a long day. It's okay. All right, terrific stuff.